Little Old Bosco and the Pirates is an MGM Happy Harmonies cartoon from 1937. This is directed by Hugh Harmon and written by Walker Harmon. And this has a voice cast including the Basin Street Boys, Harland Evans, Philip Herlick, Lillian Randolph, Zoot Watson and Scott Whitaker. It's creative, but I didn't enjoy it. It seemed very repetitive. I didn't find it that interesting to look at, though I do love the the green colour of the frogs. I think the green was a really gorgeous choice. But the narrative was just a little bit slow, and the music is probably not bad, but it's not my kind of music, so that part of it didn't appeal to me. Bosco happens to see this pirate ship, so he visits the pirate ship, and the pirates are all frogs. And I have to say, as much as I didn't like the cartoon, I did like the animation of the frogs, particularly the bright green colour, but also with their little frog outfits, their pirate outfits, rather, I thought they looked absolutely adorable. So for me, that's probably the only thing that looked good. I mean, I like the character of Bosco. I think Bosco looks pretty good as a character. I think the movements of the character are quite good. He's dancing around at one point. That didn't look too bad. So I guess that's to say the animation is not bad at all but maybe not the most engaging once we get over the initial idea of the frogs on the pirate ship. It gets a little bit repetitive and not a lot happens. They tried to make it dramatic. A few things that one could argue are dramatic do happen. I won't spoil it by giving away all of the details, but personally, I just didn't think there was enough in this to keep me entertained. So not a bad concept. The animation does look pretty good, but the narrative for me needed something else and the music might appeal to some people if that's the case. Fantastic. Definitely not my kind of music, but I guess it's not too bad. Do I recommend it? I guess so. Little Old Bosco and the Pirates may not be a personal favourite, but if you're a Bosco fan or if you just think the narrative might appeal to you or the animation style, then I'd say it, it might be worth watching.